Now, if you don't have an Aki quilt, don't worry. I have a link down below in the description box which shows you how to make these three and a half inched finished half square triangles. So you can also do that method. When I did this quilt block for this quilted cushion, I wanted to make sure that I had a really good selection of different colours and I chose six different colours all in an Easter stroke spring theme. So basically I had a different colour in one of my half square triangles but I pretty consistently always have the same colour in another block. It doesn't have to be white as long as you have the same colour in one side of your half square triangle you are good to go. And probably another point to make is, is whatever you have on this other side of this triangle, it should be a really high contrast colour or a colour that you don't have within the mix. Otherwise this pattern isn't going to look as good as what it does. So let's have a look at the block again and you will see there is four by four and basically there are eight white sections and eight of whatever colour you decide to do. I decided to do six different colours. I think it looks really cool and springy and eastery. Once again, I am not paid nor sponsored to create this video. I use a Baby Luck Soprano sewing machine. And over in my top thread, I use a polyester white thread. If I'm using something pale, I will use white. If I'm using something darker, I will use black. I generally don't use the same colours anymore of whatever I'm doing unless I'm making clothing. So either white for lighter coloured fabric is good or black for darker colour fabric. I use a white bobbin thread in my bobbin and a 9014 Microtex sewing needle. These are the settings that I am going to be using on my sewing machine. What I love about my Baby Lock Soprano is it will tell me which foot to use and I also have my pivot key on and I'll show you what that is in a second. So you're basically going to be starting with your stack of half square triangles if you're doing it the Aki quilt way but if you're doing it the half square triangle way you can count how many you need and then you can follow me on at the later in the later part of this tutorial. So I'm going to get a white piece of fabric and I'm going to place that on top like so. Another thing to mention is I do have my quarter of an inch foot width guide on my Soprano sew machine. I'm going to place my first piece in and I'm going to press my foot accelerator down. Now when this comes to the end, I am not going to take this piece out. I'm going to get my next piece ready and we are going to do what you call chain stitching. It is faster. And I don't know if you noticed, but my pivot key, my pivot um, foot raised up the presser foot there. And any time that I press my foot down on the accelerator, it will lower down. And if I raise my foot, it will raise up. So I'm not going behind here, lifting this up and down. My sewing machine is doing this for me. you're going to go through and you're going to sew together the required number of half square triangles. What I find useful at this stage is to get my block staged. So I'm going to put all of my blocks how I want to sew them. So I'm going to get them all, it's not right, stands out like a sore thumb when it's not, it's not correct. So you got there's the first row complete and then go ahead and do the second row here. This is a really great quilted cushion cover to do for for Easter 
Now I'm going to do the next next row. And half square triangles are so versatile. There's so many different designs that you can do with half square triangles. And now I'm just going to do the last row, just making sure you can see what I'm doing here. If you're following along. And then just do the very last row here. So this is what it looks like. So now you're going to go through and you're going to individually sew each of the rows. So you're going to take these to the sewing machine and I would take them like this as a stack. So we then can sew them across. So you're going to end up with four rows. Now we're going to go ahead and sew our rows together. This quilt block alone will not be big enough to make a 15 inch cushion cover. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to create a border at two inches and you are going to attach that all the way around. And then you're going to do another border at one and a half inches and then attach that one. Now what we're going to do with this, we're going to get some batting and some backing fabric and we're going to free motion quilt some sort of a design onto this cushion cover. I used a thicker thread in order to do the free motion crossing and the seams really didn't like it so make sure that you go with a regular 50 weight thread. If you would like to know how to do this particular design let me know yes please in that comment box down below and I'll show you how you can create this. So let's create the actual zipper portion of this cushion just to finish everything off. Cut away all the excess here and go all the way round, just cutting it all off. I cut a piece of canvas out, it's just about an inch bigger, all four sides, and then I cut it in half like so. I have a zipper that is longer than the cushion. I have lots of cushion tutorials on my um, YouTube channel, by the way. So you can watch any one of them for an in-depth cushion tutorial. So I'm going to do that face down. So just as a reminder, I have hundreds and hundreds of sewing tutorials on my channel. So I'm going to attach this other section here. So don't forget to subscribe is basically what I'm saying. And I'm going to just sew this one into place as well. If you're worried about the fraying edges, you could just serge this down if you've got a serger or you could use your overlocking stitch to keep this from fraying. I'm just giving this zipper tab a nice press because it just wants to fold shut. And then go back to your machine and just do a top stitch down. Now with the zipper, facing up and just open it halfway place your cushion cover on top of it face down and then what we're going to do is trim around everything making sure you have opened the zipper now you might want to just place some wonder clips to keep everything in place and then what you're going to do is just sew all the way around this cushion and making sure again that this zipper is open now you are going to flip the cushion right sides out and I've now placed it into an insert hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.